Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Victoria Garrick here. And today I was supposed to be waking up at 7.45. It's currently 8.45 to film a workout video. I was gonna work out and show you guys, you know, what I've been doing to get in shape this summer. But I like literally can't bring myself to do that. Um, like I said, it's an hour past when I plan was supposed to wake up. I mean, I was supposed to be done filming by now. I had other work to start doing. But I just don't feel motivated. I don't feel enthusiastic. I don't feel joyous. Um, and I felt this way for a few days now. Actually, now it's been like the whole week. Um, and it sucks. I don't know if any of you guys have felt this way before. I'm not sure what it really is because part of me wants to be like, oh, this is like depression. But then I f hear this voice in my head. I, I was depressed clinically um, in college. Um, I experienced um, a major depressive episode and that was really dark and severe. And so when these like little waves of sadness hit me, which they do like every few months. It's like part of me doesn't feel like I can say, you know, oh, this is depression because I'm like, mm, it's not as bad as the, the thing I experienced. Um, but I think I'm starting to learn that maybe it is, but also I don't need to label anything, right? Like I know how I feel. But I'm just sharing this with you guys because this is the truth. I know a lot of you guys come to my channel and love the positivity and love the energy and love the good vibes. That's great. That is all, that's a part of me. Um, but this is also me. Um, my mom just texted me. Let me see what that's about. <laughs> Okay, she made me laugh. Oh, that's cute. My mom wants to have breakfast with me. She knows I'm bummed. And also she she put a rat emoji because our dog, Teddy, got a horrible haircut and she looks like a rat. I posted about this on my stories yesterday and it was actually so helpful to be honest about that. I debated for a while posting about that. I almost deleted it. I posted it and then I was like, oh, should I delete that? I don't know. It's it's tough to be vulnerable about mental health because you never want people, well, it's not that you never want, but sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want them to think I'm over exaggerating or I'm doing this for attention or I don't know. I don't know. I just have that voice creep into my head that's negative. But fortunately, all of you guys are literally the nicest humans and I think we've built a pretty awesome community. So I got a lot of positive messages and things that were really helpful. Something I noticed though, and I wanna share this with you guys today because I know I, I know I can't be the only one feeling this way. And also I feel bad because you guys, when I feel this way, like I go watch YouTube videos because it's just like entertaining and it makes me feel better. So right now I'm just kind of thinking of the person who like maybe came here to be like, oh, Vic's new video will cheer me up. <laughs> and then I'm here like, hi babe. I'm I'm with you. Things are, oh, am I about to cry? That's the other thing that happens with this. It's just like, they come out of nowhere. False alarm, close call. I was about to say, hey babe, I'm right there with you, which I don't know if that's like more depressing or I don't know, comforting. All the messages that I was receiving were great. I did notice a common thread, things like, go outside, play some upbeat music, take a shower, put makeup on, go on a walk, exer like those suggestions. And before I proceed, let me be very clear. Those suggestions are great and they can be great if that's the sadness I'm experiencing. Sometimes you do need that. You do need to go outside, brush your hair, which I need to do. Splash some water, put some makeup, whatever. It helps. It has helped me in certain situations in the past. That was actually my plan today. I was like, I'm gonna get a good sleep. I'm gonna wake up early. I'm gonna put on a cute workout outfit. I'm gonna film this workout video. I'm gonna get energy from the camera and then I'm gonna have the best Friday and we're gonna forget this, this thing. I can't 
do that right now. I, I can't. I mean, every day I've tried to wake up and say, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And I have tried going for walks. Um, I have tried brushing my hair. I took a shower. It's not working. If you're someone who is caring for someone who might be dealing with mental health struggles or mental illness in general, if you think of it like a fever, like let's say they have a 103 degree fever and they're coughing and they're achy, no one would ever say, play some upbeat music, go outside, take a shower, put makeup on, and it'll feel, you'll feel better. No, like they're sick. None of that is gonna help them get better. And so sometimes when it comes to depression, a situation where someone is dealing with a mental injury, an invisible injury, imagine they have a fever. It's, it's nothing that those things can really fix. They might need rest. They might need to do nothing. They might need to honor the emotions. And, and also, if you're that person, don't feel bad if the workout or the walk or the whatever isn't working for you. It's not your fault. I feel like the obvious question is, why, Vic? Why are you sad? And when I think about that, I don't really have an answer. I struggle because I want to have an answer, but then part of me is like, maybe there isn't one and you're just sad. I will say that I had this vision that I was going to come up to my family's lake house. It would be a beautiful summer month. I would film TikToks by the lake. I would work on a special project. I'm really excited about. I was gonna film amazing YouTube videos for July because I just took this break. I was gonna work out every single morning at 8 a.m. and get in shape. Oh my God, I had all these things I wanted to do. I've done none. I've done some here and there. I started the month like dipping my toes in things, but then the weather has gotten horrible. It's been like, you can't go outside bad. I have no motivation to do anything. I have no one that was like, <laughs> is the yawn a paid actor? I have no motivation to do anything. I cannot bring myself to do a thing, like to the point where I finally realized I just have to start kind of sharing this with you guys because if I don't, I'm literally not going to be, we're not going to have a relationship this month because what else am I, I can't post about anything else. I'm just sitting here doing nothing. This is what my mom sends me when I tell her I'm going to come down and hang out with her. It's happy Stewie. Okay, people. Well, honestly, I just felt like I should post something rather than nothing at all. Also, rather than a lie. I'm bad at YouTube, guys. I'm bad. I'm good on Instagram. I'm good on TikTok. I'm bad on YouTube. I'm sorry. I need to be better. But this is me trying to be better. I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to miss another week for them, so I'll just film what's really going on. Okay, let's go hang out with my mom, she's fun. And let's go see the dog, you guys are gonna die. She had to get a haircut because she had all these mats and she got fleas up here, so they had to shave her and she has the little rat's tail, it's so gross. The tunes. Good morning. Ew, look at her tail, ew. Aw, oh, Toons, you close your ears, you're beautiful. Oh my God, hi mom. Hi. Are you showing everybody our refrigerator? I haven't organized it yet. It, there's nothing in it. It's not organized. This is too much food in here. It's making me anxious. Okay. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. My dad's birthday is tomorrow. It's like a big ordeal. He's, like he's like he's literally like a child. And what did he just say to you? Oh, so this morning we usually get up. I'm like, wake up, honey. He's like, it's my birthday Eve day. I'm just gonna. Who take says my birthday <laughs> Eve? Daddy, come show everyone how hideous you look. Okay, they saved her face a little bit. Wait, I thought it's the tail. That's people for their appearance. <laughs> You're doing that to Teddy, that's so mean. She can't help it. Oh, wait. I feel called out right now. I'm skinny shaming Teddy. Say hello to the people. See her face? They saved her face a little bit. Her face is actually really cute, right? I said, why don't we go for our long hour walk as usual this morning. You'll feel good, get out, exercise, and then I can draw you an Epsom salt bath if you want. And I'll make you a special lunch. It's your little day. I live the sweet life. Mm. 
I don't know if I want to go on a walk because we did that two days ago and it didn't fix anything and I'm just tired. I had every intention of today being a great day. I had an alarm for 7.45. I was supposed to film a video of myself working out. I think when we feel like this, let's try to do the power of positive thinking. Let's just say, okay, I'm gonna think positive. I'm gonna force myself to do these things. And I think sometimes it's like the cart before the horse and say, okay, we're gonna get dressed. We're gonna do the video. We're gonna walk. And then all of a sudden the sun will break out. We'll hear a great song on the walk. We can like hold hands. And we can I, hold hands. But you know what I mean? Sometimes I know what it's I like. know what you mean, honestly. Like I do know what you mean. I just, I don't know. I feel stuck because I don't know. Sometimes I don't think that's the fix. Sometimes I do think it's the fix. And I don't have energy, so I don't even really care to try it. Bacon and eggs. Greek style. Voila. Um, babe, will you say hi to the, the vlog? Hello. <laughs> Hello, friends. It has been, it's been like the whole day. It's like 5 p.m. now. I did not end up going on a walk with my mom. I just didn't feel like working out. I had a half a sandwich for lunch with some chips. And I've just been hanging. Um, I did some stretching. So I did do some stretching for my body. I didn't change. I just like laid on the floor and stretched with the dog. And I also have just been doing some thinking and I've been going through the messages people sent me on Instagram. Um, I've been posting about this entire thing um, on my page. So if you don't follow it, you can check that out. And I'm starting to think that it might be like hormonal or it might have to do with my period because I got my period today. And that makes me think like the days leading up to my period, like this all kind of makes sense. And this happens to me like once every four to five weeks, which is kind of like, hey, what else happens to you every four to five weeks that's known to cause emotional problems in women? And I'm like, oh, my period. So I think I'm gonna see a doctor and a hormone expert and try to get this figured out because I do have some hormone problems. Like I don't get my period regularly. I have to take the pill to regulate it and I feel like that's just not good. So I've got to figure this out. I had two work calls that I like had to be on. So I took those, um, which were fine. And then now I'm just laying in my bed again because I just like literally feel like doing nothing. I'm actually going to watch um, the new episode of Love Island that came out last night. Honestly, you guys, Love Island USA slept on now look i don't know if the other seasons were horrible but season three like the current one so good i know uk is amazing and it's the best and i love uk but season three usa is so entertaining like don't sleep on it and also i just kind of made like um a, a cup of candy so i have um starburst and skittles i have this weird theory that like if i eat candy when i'm feeling sad or, or lazy it will like give me energy i'm always like oh if i have some starburst i'll get like a sugar rush and like feel better i don't but it's still fun to eat some <laughs> here and there Oh, I just forgot that I have to submit a TikTok today for review to a brand. Um, <laughs> like I literally just hopped out of bed, interrupted my nice Love Island watching. Do I have to put makeup on for this TikTok? Guys, this is where it's tough. It's like a brand has hired me to create a piece of content. We've already agreed on the content, so I have to do it. Because obviously my content I create for you guys every day is real and honest and this is how we feel. However, this TikTok has to be taken now, submitted for approval, and it won't be posted for a few weeks. So I can't like be myself, like I have to act different. Gosh, that's weird. I don't really have a choice, I have to do this. Okay, I just brushed my hair and I think this looks presentable. Um, you guys are probably like, oh, why are you not just gonna like ask for an extension? Well, I did. <laughs> uh, two days ago when I was not feeling great still, I was like, oh, can I please push this? I'll be better then and I'm not better. So I have no choice but to pull myself together and do it. So here we go. You guys literally look how messy my room is. I can't. 
Oh my God. I feel like whenever my mental health's not in a good place, my room looks like this. Okay, I put on mascara and I put on a necklace because I was just literally looking like I just woke up in this video, which is true. And the brand would probably not be happy. So I'm retaking it now. Okay, I'm done. Um, that was weird. I feel like I really had to snap into a character. Um, it really boosted my energy. It's time for dinner, um, so I'm heading downstairs now. Wow, mom, you really went ham on this. Half-baked harvest, amazing. I love when I'm with my parents and my mom makes me food. <laughs> Dinner was delicious, and actually now it's turning into a beautiful evening. The sun is gonna set. I think I'm gonna sit with my mom who's looking at me right now. Hi, mom. My mom's like life goal is to get me to go outside. Okay, that was nice. Um, I'm honestly feeling a lot better. Um, I'm really not feeling like the best vibes ever, but I'm definitely not feeling as low as I did this morning. But I kind of hope it was maybe nice to see a vlog where like nothing fun happened. <laughs> okay, I am now back in bed with Walla. Um, I am going to finish Love Island. Probably putts around on YouTube. FaceTime Max, and then go to bed. I am feeling um, honestly hopeful that this has a lot to do with my period. I'm hoping that like I can get some more clarity on all this stuff when I go see my doctor and figure out my hormones. I'm excited to learn more, so I'll keep you guys posted. Um, thank you for being there for me and watching this even though it's not my best light. Um, I really love you guys and I appreciate you and it means a lot to me, so thanks so much. I'm gonna head out. Um, I feel weird being like, subscribe and like this video. It just mm, does really feel like a video where I really wanna plug the rest of the channel. But anyways, I love you guys and I will see you next week, hopefully with better.